Hello again, my friends. And you are my friends. And never let it be said, I don't go early. Look at this. I've gone two minutes early. For all those that like to say I'm always late, no, I am early this evening. Welcome one, welcome all. Please get active today and get your comments, your thoughts, your things. Have we all stopped watching the goals back yet? Have we all calmed down from last night's late night drama? It had it all yesterday, didn't it? Penalty misses, last minute goals, going behind twice. Oh, it was... An emotional, pulsating evening. I want to know how you're feeling on a Wednesday night. If you're watching on Catch Up FTA, comment for that algorithm, like and subscribe. All of that wonderful business. And of course, get your thoughts in. Whether you're watching on Thursday morning, Thursday night, Friday afternoon, wherever it is, get your thoughts, get your feelings in. And of course, pull up, just pull us up. If you hear something tonight you don't agree with, do let us know. I know many of you already do that anyway, but do let us know. Uh, Stephen Pray, let's keep going. Last night proved we have staying power. Uh, Mike the Fishman, 10 more wins, sitting on a wall, um, nine more wins, slot. counting down to the Premiership, sure we have to believe. Well, you do have to believe. Why not? It's in our hands. It is well and truly in our hands. Um, why Why not? Why can't it be be, be Ipswich? And I, I really liked the commentator's uh, words last night. Some, some, sometimes the most spontaneous words are the best words, aren't they? And, you know, um, he's something along the lines of, you know, it just, just won't go away quietly or, or the promotion dream won't wither away. Or something along those lines. I thought it was really uh, quite good. Don't forget, we are partnered with Match Bingo. Play Match Bingo, win cash prizes. I know our man, Sean, I won't say how much, quite embarrassing, but he's he's been winning the money recently. Didn't win last night, he tells me. Um, but you can't win every, every night, Sean. You've got to let some of us occasionally jump in and win some cash. How do we do that? Well, information's on the screen. Register online, download the app to your phone, your tablet, etc., etc. Choose your matches, uh, play match bingo. You've got free bingos. Uh, and while you're playing match bingo, it is £2 uh, a bingo card. You are supporting the crucial work of the East Anglian Air Ambulance. So play match bingo, win cash prizes over 18s only. Be gamble aware. Uh, get a couple of more comments. We've got, uh, I like the West Burns and was it Chapman or Clark? Uh, what a fantastic game, says AD. That was from uh, Matt Stannard, by the way. Uh, I just had to home, I just had to, I just had to, either I can't read this evening or we're missing words out of sentences here, ladies and gentlemen, and we're literally trying to trip me up. Uh, what a fantastic game. I just had to get home, I think AD means. And what's the second half again? Bring on Cardiff. I'm going to call for help and bring in uh, Rich and Matt. They're leaving words out on me, boys. It's they're, they're deliberately trying to trip me up here. He, he was a fan. Fantastic. Yeah, explain it to me. Look, I'm look, I'm five. Fan, as in fan. Fantastic. Oh, cool. I didn't think it was oh, that I difficult, see. Matt. To be quite honest. No, no, no. You've lost me already, Martin. We're only <laughs> three minutes into the show. It's because I started early. If I started late, I'm yeah. normally I'm normally on my on my yeah, go. I, 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 moving on. Moving on. I'll tell you what we didn't lose last night. And that was the game, despite our best efforts um, in, in periods. We, we didn't lose it. And last night, Rich, are, are the sort of nights you dream about, you want, you crave, you buzz, you live for at Portman Road. And, and the sort of nights when you're not at Portman Road, like me and Matt weren't last night, that you, you're sick to your stomach because you wanted to be there. You wanted to be five rows deep. You wanted to be all those different things. <laughs> Oh, I've had a bit of fun with you two on the WhatsApp this evening, but no, mostly I, look, me. I, look, I was, no, I was, no, I was glad that you weren't there because, like you say, we've so long we were in the doldrums. You know, I've been doing some number crunching, haven't I, Matt? I'm gonna, <laughs> Very I've got some stats. I've got some stats Very for tonight. Yeah. But so, town, this is right from 75 minutes on, Matt. We have scored 21 goals, which is the best. By I think Southampton and next on nineteen, but is the is the best by far. And I mean twenty eight yeah. points from losing positions. I mean, look, That's we're going to get that. into it. That's mental. That although one of the um, look forty seven goals scored at home, but we have got the fourth worst defensive record at home in the division. <laughs> but like you say, Matt, it's in our DNA. This is um, a la <laughs> Joe Royal era, like you said last oh, yeah, night. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, I, know, I, I used to dream of the Joe Royal era. When we had Paul Lambert in charge, I was like, "Just give me some action end to end," and now we've got it in abundance. Well, Gov did, Gov did, did. I was watching the show back, and I think it was Richard Chandler was on, and you did come to Lambert's defence when you said, and and I think Mix when there was like Jordan Spitz. Look, you do have to take into context some of the players that we had in previous regimes because it wasn't great, and we all know that, and we've we've all sat through plenty of dull 
and dismal games down at yeah. Portman Road, looking at rows and rows of empty seats, you know, you see what it was like. And last night, um, I thought the crowd was a little bit quiet first half. I don't know what you two thought, obviously, watching on the telly. I, I don't it's know. No was, good. was it because second half I thought was really good? But what is it because, like I said on Sunday, Matt, we're getting this close, but you're still a f- yeah. quite far away and you're getting nervous. And look, I want to give a shout out to Blue Action. I know they're not everybody's favourite of the month. They're doing the march to the ground. They're getting more people going with them. And I think it was Sid Driver put a really good comment on their post saying, I remember you used to come down to Portman Road, Gov. You could come down there at 2.50, you could park in the car park and you could walk into the stadium. So before people say, no, I don't like that, look, just remember what it used to be like. And just remember that it might not, it won't always be like this. But it is, and like Mike said last night, he, he give a real, I, I, I think since I've had a word with Mike into his shell, after he said last season, I'm not going to moan anymore. I just wanted to get our League One, and then he was moaning quite a lot. But he said, you have to enjoy it. And you do, because you don't know how, how long this is going to last. Kieran McKenna won't be at the football club forever, you know, but it's just fantastic in a minute following town. It you, really just, is. you just think back to that that Burley era in the Premier League where we finish fifth and go on our European tour. Next season, we get relegated. So, I mean, you're absolutely right. You just have to hold on to these things and cherish them while they're here. But let's hope it lasts for a long time. Look, Norwich have had their decade of domination or whatever. Let's hope we can, we can build something similar. Certainly the foundations are there. Absolutely, the foundations are there. And... and- the foundations are such that it's such a uh, it's such look when Mick McCarthy left it, it was going to be a big culture change between the style of play and everything changing at the football club you you, you aren't going to get that I don't feel this time you know with, with or without McKenna's uh, involvement because you're in a 2024 style of play I mean look look, look at Manning last night for example he what? would almost seemingly so the, slot so the Cowleys in. won't be next in the hot seat <laughs> oh <laughs> Matt so you're going to be really disappointed though, haven't you well, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, but you know, we might be just be too big for them at the moment. But you never know in the future. Don't rule no, out. Don't no, out. no, we're never going back, Matt. We're never going back. We're going forwards and only forwards and only up. And yeah, performances are great, but points are what matter at this point of the season, Matt. And we said this on the match reaction show last night. And you get into the, the real business end, you need those points. It's no good walking off, drawing 2 2, playing fantastic, walking off 1 0 down and, and saying, oh, but we played really well. We got the three points. Hang on, and we showed Hang a resilience. Well, well, rewind to the WhatsApp group about, I don't know, about twenty to ten. Get me out of here with a point. I think he was saying. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I won't lie. I won't lie. When we got back into the game at two-two, having, in my opinion, for for last period, not been great. Looked really tired, really leggy. Yeah, obviously, we'll, we'll play into our Cardiff look ahead. When we got back to two-two, I ain't gonna lie to you both, or, or to the people at home who aren't part of our WhatsApp group. That point seemed the best point in the world. It yeah, suddenly great. felt yeah. like a great, oh my God, we're back. Just cling on to this point. But they're resilient, Matt. They don't know when they're beaten and they keep going, this team. We've seen it up the road when Farker was in charge of Norwich. That was a team that used to sort of dig out victories in the 93rd, 94th, 95th minute. And now, you know, we used to concede those goals a lot, didn't we? That used we to did. be our fault. 21 goals, Matt. 21 yeah. goals after 75 minutes, yeah. this team. Yeah. So and there'll be more. That. There'll be more, I'm sure, in these final 10 games. I did I did think the crowd was a little bit quiet last night. But the fact, as you said there, Martin, Manning come in, and we, we touched on it last night. I think he's a really good tactical coach. I think he's cut from the same cloth as McKenna. And um, they stifled us with good so tactics. Big, big up, Charlie. Yeah. Talking gas. Yeah, yeah Charlie. Hope yeah, you're looking after nice. Elkham Baggart. Yeah. He does say Elkham Baggart, baby. There <laughs> you go. What a lad. <laughs> good lad. Where where was it we where we met them? The the um, FTA. F- yeah, FTA is coming for the algorithm. Yeah, that was when you, you oh, kept yeah. stealing that red wine, Matt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Don't oh, worry, right. I'll get us a taxi, lads. I'll pick around there. <laughs> yeah, 20 yeah. minutes later, we're still in the Walk queue. Walk out of the station, there's not a single taxi there. No, <laughs> what was that? A huge queue. <laughs> All you Suffolk boys, come with a big smoke. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the sprawling metropolis, I'll look after you. We just quickly, you, look, you, I know you just done your talking knockouts, and if anyone's not watched it, Let's get let's get 250 views, Matt, of your show tonight. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, well, I, I'm pleased if we can get to 100. I'm but, always pleased if we get to 100. But 
you two obviously weren't in the stadium last night and you didn't see the circus that went on at half time. No, talk us through this. Oh, Fabio. Fabio. Fa- so, yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> it was great. So, Fraser Clark walks out. He's big, he's massive. I mean, I see him when I see when they were doing the face to face when the fight was announced. I thought, yeah, big lad, but I thought, bloody hell, he's big. So, he comes out in his black jacket. Then Fabio comes out with his belts, with the scarf. And then they're having a little bit of a a face-to-face, like just on the side of the pitch here, Matt. And then, (laughs) I mean, it was just, it was a bit like WWE. You know, (laughs) Fraser Clark proceeds to take off his jacket. And what is he wearing underneath? He's wearing a Norwich City shirt. Classic. What happened then? What happened then? uh, Fabio pulled out an Ipswich shirt. And then Fraser Clark gets, gets, gets hold of it. And then he puts it on the ground and he's kicking it. And then they're obviously walking around. Go to, they go to the North stand and obviously he's getting quite a lot of stick. I just thought it was, um, yeah, it, it was, it was good halftime entertainment because I think, I think we spoke uh-huh. about this a little bit before that we don't really have no halftime <laughs> yeah, entertainment yeah. now. And that was like, yeah, brilliant. I'm looking forward to that fight. The O2. I'm going to be there with Craig. Yeah. So, um, Got your so Fabio, Fabio knocks him out. Let's hope he does. Mm. Absolutely. I like that. That's, that's classic, you know, banner. I love that. Get the Norwich shirt out when you're at Portman Road facing the <laughs> yeah, town. Great move. That... Great move. Yeah. yeah. How to get 30,000 people booing at you, booing at you <laughs> yeah. all at once. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah good yeah. move. Really good move. I've got a couple of questions flying in. I just want to ask you before we get into the, obviously the game and, and performances. Um, Norman says, Gary Lineker famously presented Match of the Day in just his boxer shorts. Gov, what will you, Matt and Cruncher, do <laughs> and get promoted? No one wants to see this manscaped body, yeah. but what will you two be doing? Let's, let's not really give it a no, I've not really given it a lot of thought yet, but um, maybe we can get it? some. Maybe we can get some um, some sort of thoughts in the chat. Well, we've, we've we've done stuff oh, before. Don't ask them. Rich has got Rich got his tattoo. I'll get another one. Spelt right this time. I've dressed up as a pineapple. Kevin, before. Kevin, <laughs> you had some. Up, you had, had some humble pie. pie. I've had a humble pie. I've dressed up as a pineapple. Look at this man. Look at this man. <laughs> that? That, that was a pre-season game. <laughs> was Cole just a, was it Cole year away? And it was like, yeah, 100 points, 100 goals. You, you were all your... Well, uh, 100 merch, points, 100 yeah. goals, we could... We didn't quite do it last year with 100 points. We could hit it this season. This is amazing. How this many goals amazing. have we got? 70... We scored 73 goals, top scorers in the league. But 78 points, Matt, with 30 still to play for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contra goes to the game. Emu! Emu. Steady on, Mike. Is Mike still on the bank? MB will see you. No, see you not wearing a bankini. No one wants to see that. No, no, no nobody definitely that. wants to see that. This is this is quite amazing though, because for those that, that, that obviously won't know, backstage before the show and after the show, we have we have a little, we have a little bit of a chat. But and these two, only uh, only ten or so days ago, were were sort of poo pooing me when I kept saying, "Well, mathematically, guys, top two's not out of the equation here." You know, did you really believe? Out. Did you really believe? Doesn't God? matter whether I believed or not. You two well, kept it, sort of, you know, it's all right saying it, isn't it? Like, look, did. Look, six games ago, six games is a long time in football. You know, we, we get it's another six, but we get another six games down the road. No one knows who, where we're going to be, do we, Matt? You it's, know, it's, there's it's still so tough. much to, to play for. You could easily just have, the <laughs> But you just have to look at last night's opponents, Bristol City, you know, sitting sort of mid table. I think they'll just about be safe. I think they'll get another couple of wins. They're, they're, they're only six points, I think, from the bottom three because it's just concertinas. So, um, so far down there, but it just shows you, Matt, no easy games. I thought they they set up really well. Oh, really good. The first half. Yeah, really good. I thought they really nullified us, didn't they? They shut the spaces off. They let us have the ball, sort of, you know, your goalkeeper and your, and your defensive players, but they made it really hard. Hamari got the ball. They were doubling up on him. Leaf was struggling yeah, good, yeah. and harnessed down the left-hand side. Yeah. And it was, no one would have ever thought. At half time when it's nil nil, that it was going to turn into such a crazy game, Gov, second half. And it's, it is, it's like town are a bit like chalk and cheese. And I think I've said this before when we play away from home, we look a lot. If you take Saturday's game, for example, at Plymouth, even though it was nil nil after an hour, we're pretty much in control of these games on the road, you know? Whereas at home, it turns into a, just mental games. It just, it does. It does. It's a bit, it gets a little bit like a basketball game sometimes. Absolutely. And it was just end to end, wasn't it? But it had to be that. I mean, sometimes we said it last night, didn't we, mind? Like, he, he just yeah. literally kind of froze the kitchen sink at it to try and break out of that kind of cycle of, you know, they, they were doing the block on us and we couldn't get the passing lines together. And it was just, 
sticks on four subs, and within a minute, Rich, it's back to one one. I mean, I, I do. I would just say I, I do think that's because you're at home. You, you, when when you're away, regardless of opposition, you can allow the game to come to you a lot more. Whereas when you're at home, you have to be the front foot team, yeah. and that's yeah. very much McKenna ethos yeah. and, and way of playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I see a little bit of Joby back enough. I think it was after the game last night on um, YouTube um, earlier, Matt, and he basically said Ipswich. They just go all out for for the win, don't they? They're never happy. Mm-hmm. Even like you say, you get back to two all last night. We just keep going. We just keep going. We are we we're, we're relentless, aren't we? I know Mark Ashton uses that phrase quite a lot, but we, as a football team, you sell bunny. We <laughs> are. It last night. We had a free kick or a corner in the last minute, and we had no. There was no play for the corner here, boys. We we, we stuck it in the box. Yeah, get it like, in the mixer. <laughs> and the commentator said, yeah. "This is what Town do. They they won't think about playing. You know, for, you know, into the corner and keeping it there for as long as they can. They're going to keep playing it's... and going. Paul yeah, Monroe's got to be." Portman, Portman Road, Matt's got to be one of the best places to watch football at the minute yeah, in yeah. the country. In the country yeah, for excitement, you've got Looks 76 lovely. goals in 18 mm. home games. We've got so, yeah. I mean, be that's, 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 that's conceded. That's goals for and against. Um, I might add there's 76, yeah. so never dull, is it? So I'm on, on the TV, so I'm on the TV constantly. <laughs> it's on the TV, there it goes, like, yeah. Because <laughs> he won't find you in Portman Road, will you? Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we discussed it earlier. You don't right? even make Saturday afternoon kickoffs, Matt. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Mostly. 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 He's don't, get me started. don't get me started on you, Gov, because you're missing the Southampton game, which is probably the biggest home game of the season. You're not going to be there. Oh, I'll be no. at that. I'll, I'll be there. Mike Woods has a ticket you've, for that. I'll you've be got there. old news. You've got old news there. Are you going to be there? I'm going to I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. You've You're going to be there. How's this changed? You said you couldn't make it. I I, I showed them the lead table and said, I've got to be there. <laughs> I've got to be there. I've got yeah. to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't ask this time. I just sort of said, I'm yeah, blocking this out in the diary. you got to do it. You, got, yeah, absolutely. Joe S. Chaplin epitomizes, this is a, that's a big word for this time. Right? This team and club uh, was poor again, but pops up with a goal, never gives up. Celebrations after the goal at the end of the game. There are almost tears from him post match. Yeah, celebration wise. I don't know if you saw it live, Rich, but certainly me and Matt would have seen it for the second. When it, He's running right goal. in front of us. Oh, oh, was he? Oh. Come on, he was going. But <laughs> look, I think if you look at Chaplin overall, I think I wouldn't have been surprised if he took him off. You know, when he made them four subs, he could have maybe moved Amari into the 10, possibly. Yeah. But look, he's kept him on. And he does give the ball away quite a lot. But you just have to look at the pass for, um, I think it's Ooh. the first goal. For Burns. To Chaplin, to Burns. Yeah. And, mm. he, and for the penalty as well. Does he play Burns in for the penalty? Um, he could well do. I'll have to go back yeah, over but, but the Yeah, but the Burns pass, it's one of them ones where he just whips it and he knows that Wes is going to be there. He just knows because they played. Look, this is where you get these partnerships. You get these partnerships, don't you? That they know Wes has only just been on the pitch a matter of minutes. But I thought that was, I I agree with you, Gov. I thought that was probably Wes Burns' best performance in a town shirt last night. I mean, was it, what was the uh, left back's name? Ping? Pring? Pring? Pring. 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 I mean, he'd had quite a good game against Amari. And then on comes Wes, and he just turns <laughs> yeah. on the afterburners, then he doesn't. I mean, like a cheat code. And then sometimes <laughs> yeah. as well, he does get into them positions, and he doesn't deliver the final ball. But he's picked out. Well, Leaf. We all thought Leaf had scored, but it's a lovely little um, flick in it from Ali. Matter, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pass, yeah. by the way, is from Connor Chaplin for the penalty. It's he was, um, yeah. It was. Picks it up inside the centre circle and just sprays it out with that instinctive style pass there, Matt. So, yeah, Matt, another Burns, phenomenal Burns performance. was just like a man possessed. You're right, he's come off the bench and just like... He just, it was just it. it. was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I mean, look, you've called him man of the match. He was only on there for half hour. It was brilliant. Fantastic. He turned the game. He turned the game. And in, do, yeah, and, yeah. and in doing so, you know, him and Connor Chaplin, you know, because Connor's put two lovely balls through there, one for the first goal, one for the penalty. Scored his goal, of course. Um, yeah, between them, they really showed... He's showcased. got to be one of the best signings in the Game Changer era, Wes Burns. For va- for, for... Isn't, he the, isn't he the best so far? Uh, we've we've signed I'd, him. I'd love we've to look at his him. numbers over the time he's been here with goals, because obviously he got player of the year, didn't he, in that first season? Um, but goals and assists, but just... It's just like... Um, I think Curtis said last night, didn't he, Gov? Um, he said he doesn't. he'd never give him below a six. I think that's rather uh, being a little bit harsh. 
Yeah, I did you know, say that live. I you'd, did say you'd, I did. you'd give him at least a seven, wouldn't you? Most At, even average, like Curtis was saying, yeah. he said it was across average. Oh, yeah, seven. Because because you know what you you're getting from Burns going forward and defensively defensively as well because he, he works hard going back the other way, doesn't he? But I mean, <laughs> when that when that first goal went in, it was just like because there was only about what four hundred odd Bristol in the stadium, and you think for fuck's sake, here we go again. Yeah, you know you <laughs> yeah. do think it, and you think yeah. Yeah. you you do think even like the second goal, you do think is this the night when we slip up, you know, well, but we are so yeah. we are so good. Like twenty eight points coming from losing positions, we're so good at coming back. But I, I just hope over these remaining ten games, <laughs> look, town don't yeah, do it simple. I'd, I'd, I'd love to go down. I, I think we said on um, Sunday you'd love to go down there and have a nice, relaxed evening at Portman Road and probably come away with a two nil victory, Matt. But just it's not what we're going to do, is it? They're just going to no. put us through the ringer in these last ten games. It, you're right that when that Conway scored, that it did feel, and obviously Naki Wells did at the bar earlier on on us, had not he? Got it, did feel, it did feel like Got it was going to score there. Yeah, exactly. It did feel like it was going to be a step too far, but like you said, was that where was that where you see the weakness in Cameron Burgess? Yes, hundred percent. Them yeah. players who who can just isolate in one one v one, and he's yeah, yeah and he, he's but, he, but then he's just. He slipped inside of Davis as well, hasn't he? And he's, he's lost his balance. I mean, I said last night, guys, that could be a massive point, turning point in that season. If that goes yeah. in at 2-0, yeah. well, we don't know what happens, but I would have thought it's it's a long way back then, isn't it? Because you've got the subs, Gov, just ready to come on. They're all stripped, ready to go. You know, they come on at 2-0. It's it's a lot different story, isn't it? And you do, and yeah. I don't know a lot of, look, you've seen it on the socials over the past few days, a lot of, a lot of people calling town lucky. Now, we're not a lucky, lucky team, lucky but home. we're not a lucky team because we, we're good, you know. But you do need elements of luck in sport, in any sport. You do need to have a bit of luck, and that was a, that was a look two inches lower. It's in the net. They're celebrating two 0 and we we're all probably thinking, yeah, it's not going to be our night. But it didn't go in, and you just have to take your opportunities when things like that happen. You think, yeah, maybe we're going to get away with one here tonight, and and. Mm. and did we get away with it? Possibly we did, but then in the in the last twenty minutes, I mean, it was just wave after wave of town pressure, wasn't it? Really, when you yeah. think of it, mm. Mm. it makes me yeah, chuckle. We talk about these players, these pivotal players: Burns, Connor Chaplin, Morsey, all Cook signings. Yeah, it just didn't happen for him. And McKenna's come in and look at the look at the look at it now. Yeah, just well, well Wes Burns was you know, to, for, you know for Wes Burns' his signing. We really have to thank obviously Mark McGuinness. Because he made him look like Messi. <laughs> yeah, the, way he ran past, yeah. the way he ran past him. I mean, I'm watching that game, you would have thought, oh, I've got to sign this man. Um, because he ran past him like he was a trade. He was coach. the first signing, wasn't he, as well? Yeah. The game yeah. changer. Yeah, yeah, he was. So. You know, one of our well, you know, that, that season we were doing shows. I remember when we played Fleetwood away from home. Someone come on, didn't they? So I really like the look at that number seven where it was. I think we had to look it up. Burns. Where's Burns? Who would have thought? Here we are a few years later. And waxing lyrical to how he was off the bench last night. Just I think it's interesting to jump back and watch his transfer signing show that we do with. I think I think we have Nappers on. Do we have Nappers yeah, on? Nappers just, be on? Yeah, Nappers. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, don't be think, on. I, I don't think he was sort of setting him up as a as a goal scoring <laughs> player. Um, and, and it's been a complete sort of contrast, really. You know, and, and been a phenomenal player for you know for us. Uh, I don't buy the, the the luck narrative, not not n- n- whatsoever. But I don't really care what other teams say about us. It's it's them trying to make themselves feel better with their big money budgets that currently sit <laughs> yeah. below down football club with Wes Burns' seventy grand wage fee uh, transfer fee being, you know, a, a huge a huge a huge thing for us. Like seventy thousand pounds, I think is what he cost us. Um, if if is that, that... was is that what it was something something ridiculous. Yeah. You know, you talk about players going for millions, um, and he's coming yeah, on yeah. and winning the game for you. But yeah, yeah. The, the defending last night wasn't great. I mean, the second goal, a little bit of faulty towers about it, Matt. Davis loses the ball, I think, goes in the air, yeah, goes over his head, and then you've got two and a half who are marking the most dangerous player on on the pitch, yeah. space, space. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like did no one see the, the guy in the red shirt standing in the six yard box? Like, yeah, the I, was... I mean, the the, the 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 ball he puts into the box sort of hikes it in, doesn't he? I mean, that, that he's just he's chancing his arm there, 
It was a good header, to like, be fair. It was like a FIFA bug, Matt. It was like Burgess and Wolfie reacted like the guy was invisible. Like, there was a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He yeah. wasn't there a second ago. Yeah. And the first goal wasn't great either, was it? I mean, look, we've let Mimetti right, just run through, just like bloody Maradona in 86, just run through our mm. box. It doesn't even hit a good shot, does it? It's the fact it hits Wolfenden's heel, flicks it up over Wolf, uh, over Vaz, doesn't it? Lazy leg, they called it on the, the lazy leg. They did call it that, didn't they? Um, yeah, they did well, that. well, well. Craig said, "What? What's the thing when they, you know, in cricket when they go down?" I said, "It's called a long barrier. You know, the long barrier when the the ball comes along, Matt, and you put your leg there. It was a little bit <laughs> yeah. like that, wasn't he? So yeah, it, went, look, bit, yeah. um, it was a bit too easy. They let Mometi come in the box. Uh, the second goal, I think Leafs. I think he misjudges the flight, then he might of the ball because I think he thinks he can head it." And then it's like over his head. Look, I think it's mm. a really good goal from their point of view. I think it's a really good cross. It's a great header from Conway. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. his that's yeah. his first touch. I think he hadn't scored for about six games. Mm. Um, it's just the way Especially he arches, the way. arches back, isn't it? You know, because he's not got a lot of pace on that ball. It's directional. When yeah, when he's crossed yeah. it in, he's got to make all, all the... But look, yeah. And then you think, oh, bloody hell. And you look at the clock and it's, what, 77 minutes. And you're thinking... Shit, we <laughs> yeah. are in trouble here. Well, you do yeah. think like that, but we yeah. do give. Hence the point we're we, suddenly very appealing. But we do give some <laughs> some poor goals away. We we've spoke about it a lot a lot of times on here, you know, and that that could it could be our Achilles heel in the end because I've said quite a few times on here you can't keep conceding two goals at home. We keep doing it. We seem sometimes <laughs> we, we score we score three and we score four yeah. and we keep doing it. But it's. I, I was chatting to David Burns last night on the, on the WhatsApp and he said, and I do agree with him, you've got to sort this out because if it did come into a playoff game, you know, you can't keep doing that. And I, I, you can't do that in a playoff game, Matt, can see two goals like that and be sloppy. You know what that reminded me of a little bit, the second half? Like, it was a little bit like the Bolton semi-final, a little <laughs> yeah, bit. It's a bit like a, yeah, bit like a basketball game. But look, I think this is probably something in the summer that we'll have to address Gov the defensive side of the game because I think we've come so far with with you like your goalkeeper and your back four. It is what it is. But as long as we score one more, Matt, it don't really matter. Yeah, Joe Roll it's Joe Roll football, isn't it? I mean, look, yeah, there's magic there at the moment, isn't there? Look, we are conceding a lot, but we keep scoring a lot. So did, did by by sort of shoring up the defence, do you will that take away some of the goal threat, the goal power, the you know, that that kind of attitude to risk, to, you know, to take a chance. You know, to, with with minutes left, don't know. As long as you score one more goal, that's Kevin Keegan said. Even score one more goal than the opposition, but it, don't was, matter, it, it? But it was really important to get that second equaliser really quickly, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, because yeah, that yeah. was what two two minutes, I think. Yeah. After we've um we've gone two one behind, it's really it really important to get back. And it was just it's just nearly a mirror mirror image, Matt, of the goal against Sunderland. Yeah, Same was, position yeah. on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Connor and there. I mean, Ch Connor Chaplin, Gov, how does he keep getting headers in the, the side of the six yard box? Mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's a routine that works time and time and time again. And I don't know. He's a great header of the ball as well. Great stature, yeah. like, Jay, like Jay Tab was for us. Small in stature, great header of the ball. I wouldn't say Jay Tab was ever a good header of the ball, Matt. He got one goal against me. Against Borough. <laughs> he would go up and win. He would win headers, though. Do you know what I mean? I mean he was only like a bit taller than me, I think. Jay yeah. Tab. Jay -tab. I mean, how yeah. far we've come from. Look, Jay fair Tab. play to him. He was he's not a bad player, but he's good. He was good for us, Jay Tab. He he Both was. How like he say from Mike says was was superb. Tabby. Tabby. Tabby, Tabby yeah. is what yeah. they used to call him. Got Tabby, yeah. Tabby. Scoosy. Tabby. Scoosy. 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 When's the town Netflix series coming out? <laughs> sure the season has to be scripted. No one would believe it's really happening. Well, if you uh, were doing like a Sunderland to your die documentary, this would be absolute box office, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, so Connor Chappers and Burns are running, standing, especially when Chappers knocks it over the top for Burns to run onto, which kind of leads me on to the because lots of people in the chat are saying about Amari uh, and Wes and how they'd love to see them both in the same team. Um, I, I'm a little bit subscribed to that myself, but then I come to the big roadblock of you, you, you can't have both of those in the same team without losing um, Connor, Talisman, well, Chaplin, yeah, and possibly, won, well, possibly Saturday. Uh, you don't know what Nathan Broadhead where his fitness is at, he, he hadn't trained. So who do you play think, left? Who's playing left? Then? Well, I, I think if, if Broadhead's not fit, and I think probably the best we could hope for maybe is him on the bench because then you have got that, and then you've got Sheffield Wednesday, so we could get him back for them. But you, you look good. Uh, Harness, I'm a big fan of Harness, but I didn't really think he got in the game last night. I thought he, he struggled, but he wasn't the only one. And then you, we talk yeah, about Sarmiento. Sarmiento is a, 
for me, in my opinion, he's way better, Matt, off the bench than a yes. starter. So right, for yeah. Cardiff on Saturday, maybe as a one-off, I might play Amari on the left. Interesting. As a one-off. Amari, Chaplin and Burns. Oh, Matt, that's um, that's a tasty free. Is, is McKenna going to do that? Would McKenna no. do that? Don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, look, I, the, the, that left side is is a bit of a problem in Broadhead. He, he's even not a, not playing because he's injured or been off, off form. Because like you say, we were talking. Oh yeah, we like Samiente didn't he, he flatter to deceive in that role? Then Harness comes in. He flatters to deceive. Then what we're thinking? <laughs> Samiente comes back in. Samiente was very good off the bench last night. I agree. I mean, look, the header. Target man. <laughs> target man. Target man. Great header, wasn't stick it? it? Stick it. Really stick header. it forward. Just stick Should it forward. forward and he well. was. But the thing is, with yeah. him as well, I mean, it weren't just the, the header. I mean, he was crunching into tackles there, man, as well, smashing people, and you're thinking, bloody hell, this is... I mean, it's it's that everybody... Oh, brand influence coming out. But everybody's buying it's in, cool. and you've got him coming off the bench making big tackles. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what, the best tackle for me last night was the Jack Taylor one, Gov, on the Ooh. edge of the box. I mean, he absolutely <laughs> smashed that guy. And I know people are moaning about the ref, and I had a little moan last night, but I do agree to a point that... He oh, did game, let please. the game. He did let the game. Phil Blundell, if you're watching, just chill out, mate. I'll <laughs> watch that raging, back. Man. Um, raging. He did let the game flow, <laughs> and he did let people get their foot in, which a lot of teams and a lot, oh, a, lot a lot of referees. See, I've not seen that back at the time. I thought I see uh, Williams' reaction when he'd gone off to the side and he was waiting to come on, and he was mouthing off at Morsi. Then they had a little he bit was, of, when they were going down the tunnel at half time. So. Mm. I've not seen it back. You'll have to tell me, Matt. I, I've, someone told me he's gone. He's got the ball, but he's gone over it. But was, I, I've only seen it once. Well, they made a big deal, Matt, on Sky, didn't they, Mike? Because that was like the only talking point of the first half. Really. Guess who's phoning me? Who? Phil Blundell. <laughs> <laughs> Can you answer it? Come on, answer it. Answer it live on the air. I can't answer it live on the air. I can't do that. Come on, watch yourselves. Where are you, Phil? Oh, I think gone. he's got. He's going to go. He, <laughs> can answer the, he never picks the phone up to us, does he? On air. Phil was. Phil was very angry, wasn't he? I thought at one point he was going to just going to bite his steering wheel. He was that angry. He I thought was he was very just angry. Safe then. But yeah, the, the Morsey tackle. So because of the, this was what made me laugh last night, Rich, was like the, the contrast between the two halves. There was not much to talk about in the first half. So they really well, concentrated on that. Well, do we have a shot from mm -hmm. Kiefer Moore, a header from Naki Wells and, Wells, and Sam Morsey tackle? Was that yeah, it? that was about it. But I think, you know, when it's, the ball goes loose, it's a 50-50 ball, in my opinion. And Morsey goes to win the ball. And Williams does one of those ones where they sort of slide in on their knees, double knees through, yeah. with their legs. You're, you're asking for trouble, I think, to, to, to do that, in my opinion. But look, the, ref, the referee had a good look at it and nothing happened. Back. Back. Was it, was yeah, it going uh, on? What's going down? on? Oh, I, I just put the phone down to, on, on him in the end. He was just still going on about that referee. Oh, <laughs> my days. <laughs> oh, my, oh, Phil. Still in the car park. Phil, alone. No, he still wasn't in that really. car park in his car. <laughs> He's probably saying, Thank calm you. down. He's calm down, bless him. Um, but sorry, boy, well, where were you? The more, the more we discussed the Morsey tackle last night, like Gov likes the tackle, he likes the tackle, doesn't he? Bring back tackling tackle. like that in football, yeah. Boys. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah. yes, two players 50 50 going in for it. Yeah, no yeah. one pulls out, let's have it. That's what your football's about. Those tackles in the middle of the field, it's nil nil, it's a crap game. Let's ignite this place, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Williams only got injured yeah. because he slid in one, two knees. Who's ringing me? Phil Fandel. He ain't got my Phil, number. So hang on, shush, me. wait. Hello, Phil. Phil was just laughing. If you, if he, you was. Hear that. he was. He was. He was. Um, He'll ring you in a minute, Matt. No, he he's got not got your number. number. He ain't oh, got my number. Unless I'll you send it to him. It I'll just send it to him. I, 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 no, I, I wouldn't send your number on to anybody, Matt. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that on him. Um, <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd, have to, I'd have to talk to you then. Uh, Chappers at the post first time, says Sean. He did, to be fair. Good little oh, flick yes. from... Yeah, he's unlucky he's when he's on the that. angle. I don't think he's scoring yeah. there. Tell you what about Jack Taylor. That's what I wanted to bring up a second ago. His little, his little one-two shaker and bacon near to the area there. A little flick you know... fruits and then left footed. Oh, yeah. oh that is that, that that was great, wasn't it? I like, think left, right, bang. With him last night, you see the best of him because I think when sometimes he's playing in that two with Morsi and he's sitting a bit deep in that first half, Matt, you're not seeing the best of Jack Taylor. We've said this That's the much. type of yeah. game where we're We've on the attack. Best. We're throwing mm. the kitchen sink, as you said, and he's getting forward and he's got the legs to get forward. 
I thought that yeah. was probably one of his best uh, best minutes in town a town yeah, shirt gov last night. Yeah, um, probably got about 35, 35 minutes. When, when did we make the subs? Was it at the hour mark? Was he one of the yes. was he one of the four? Yeah, he was one of the four. One of the yeah, four. He was yeah. One of the four. Yeah, yeah. Or for Luongo. Yeah, I thought Mass was yeah. a little bit off it last night. I don't yeah. know how he's been ill. Yeah. He's been ill. And um he was the one who got caught in possession for the Naki Wells chance, mm. Matt. That's it. Mass, because he just tried to knock it over the guy's yeah, head and hit yeah. him on the chest yeah. and they've burst away. But yeah, Jack Taylor, look. We people write players off too quickly, Gov. Oh, yeah. He's not for town, you know. Yeah. He won't have a yeah. role to play. Everybody in this squad has got a role to play. Whether it's starting yeah. or yeah, it's off the, the bench. bench. And sometimes the people coming off the bench, you know, they're the finishers, aren't they? Like in rugby, Matt, when they make them changes in rugby. Yeah. And yeah. It, we've seen it time and time again under McKenna that the subs have such an influence, don't they? And, and we did say, like, I think we've done it in one of the transfer shows earlier in the season, Gov, you know, is it, will our bench be strong enough? You know, we're in the championship. Well, you're seeing now... That it is, and people like like we look. We've we spoke about him a lot on this show. He's not getting many minutes now because I think you've got better players. You've got be like Caden Jackson. He's probably he's going to play minimum minutes for me towards the end of the season now because you've got better options coming off that bench. And this is what we want. We want we want better options because you yeah. know twenty one goals, twenty one goals from subs, Matt. We've got this season. I mean, yeah, mad, unbelievable. It? Yeah, he's mad. He's mad. Talk about players making a, 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 a you know, contribution. So can we discuss Morsi's band potential? The dread of him missing the playoff games if he reaches 15 bookings. Don't get wiped out till season's over. How many is he on? 12. Yeah, he's on 12. I think they get wiped out after the last game. I think Lewis Travis has got one more game. I think they, I, I see somewhere today. And then he could get a potential two game ban. So look, Morsi, we see how he managed himself last season. He went, what, nine games, Matt, yeah. without. Yeah, that yellow yeah, you're not that... playing Bristol Road. Bristol no, Rovers I agree. Or, or I agree. Green. He was incredible last night, wasn't he, Sam Morsey? Hmm. He was. The captain's performance, wasn't it? For me, player of the year by an absolute country mile. I know you you probably went to Lackey, Matt, a bit earlier in the season. But Sam Morsey's hmm. he's so pivotal. Oh. pivotal, And, I mean, we always talk about McKenna improving every single player. And, I mean... He's massively improved Sam Morsi because when he came in, he was just sort of a de defensive midfielder. When what did Paul mm. Cook say after that Bolton game? We won't have no more games like this. <laughs> he said that, didn't he? When Morsi came in, yeah. And we all did, thought, yeah. blimey, is this player that good? Well, he is, isn't he? He's turned out to be that good. Yeah. You just wish that he was probably about three or four years younger, Gov. Yeah. So what well, that then begs the question: Who replaces him long term? So for someone who is so pivotal to that style of play, and like as we've said before, mine. You know, when he when he's a, a seven eight out of ten, Ipswich invariably will pick up points. So that's the worry. Who's the long term replacement? It ain't gonna be Longongo, is it? Because he's you know. No. He's, well, you need got... you need long term for both of those. Yeah. Because they're both of a very that's... similar age. Depends what division you're in next season. If we're in the Championship, yeah. Morsi can he'll play another season. If you're on, in the yeah. Premier League, Ross Morsi Barkley. will stick. <laughs> Ross Barkley. <laughs> good signing for Lewin. Very good. An excellent signing. <laughs> yeah, he's been, an excellent yeah. signing. Yeah. But Morsi, Morsi will still be captain of this football club if we're in the Premier League but without a doubt he'll play he'll but play absolutely he, will he have the legs for Premier League football we don't know that we don't know that we can't write these people off we went to the Premier League before Matt people saying about Mark Venus Jermaine Wright Jamie different Clapham times. different but, times no, but, they, but they were saying they weren't good enough and look how good they were so I think we should just just enjoy what we're doing at the minute and if we get yeah, to the yeah. Premier League that's when we can address it in the summer yeah, they yeah. will as a football Which, club McKenna knows what he's doing. He knows. Problems? This is what we sing. <laughs> this is what we sing. He knows exactly what we need. And he does. So just trust in him. Trust in Mark Ashton and trust he in is, Game um, Changer. Game Changer <laughs> over, I see, for the um, Sheffield oh, Wednesday game. That's very true. Because it's also, man, the, the other thing you'll read at the moment, if it, if it isn't, if, you know, lucky Ipswich, it will be, oh, you know, if they get promoted, there'll be another Burnley or Sheffield United and look how that's going for them, you know, so far. Well, and, yeah, I mean, Sheffield United are proper piss, aren't they? I mean, we were discussing on the phone, weren't we, Rich? I mean, in fact, I mean, Carragher go. What did Carragher say? If uh, after I think he went to a League the... Two side in the FA Cup, we wouldn't expect him to be 5 0 up at half time. It's in, it really bad. I but think Luton aren't doing what's, a bad job. But what's going on at Sheffield United? Be because it, they obviously, Heckingbottom done okay. But since Wilder's come in, I, I'm not really sure what's going on because they've got. Yeah. 
was it Newcastle stuck seven by him? There was yeah, five he knows the club, against... Rich, didn't he? So, you know, yeah. that, that helps. He knows the club. Which is... Oh, he's just... Middlesbrough two, yeah. Norwich one. <laughs> oh, mind the gap, lads. <laughs> that seemed to like have a funny appointment at the time. One of the selling points I'm, I'm, I'm sure I remember seeing, hearing or reading was like, you know, he knows the club. And I thought, I thought then that is 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 that is that going to keep you in the? Yeah, they sold their best two players. They sold their best two players before the season started. So that's always <laughs> hecking bottom is always on a bit of a, a lose of them. Who would have who would have thought Burnley though would be as poor as they have been? Because we watched them in the FA Cup and were thinking, bloody hell, we could replicate these. And company stock was high. But it's People all about recruitment. About... It's all about recruitment. If you if you make some they poor signings, well. no, you're right. Yeah, and you think Luton. Bluton will probably go down. They've still got a chance. And, and, and nobody probably thought out of the three that got promoted that they would have done the best. But the they've change. recruited. Yeah. Look, you've signed, like Gov said there, Ross Bartley, you signed Andros and Townsend. Yeah. These players have played in the Premier right. League. Luton have probably got the advantage of their stadium because I think we said that we might have talked about them at sort of the start of the season. You know, Kenilworth Road, that's what they've got to use to get out of that league. Look, if Town, if town mm. get promoted, we'll obviously have to... That, I don't think they'd rip the squad apart, but there would have to be smart recruitment, wouldn't there, in certain areas? We, we, we I think we well, all the know Forest that. Forest did, though, Rich. Forest, it's, it's been over 100 million. Exactly, that's what I mean. That's what I say. They, they ripped this, they ripped their squad but apart. But they had to open. because there was a lot of loan players in that team that Forest mm. came up, you know, and that was, but they're probably going to pay maybe with a points penalty, you know, because mm. they've overspent. Town, if Town go up, Nobody should be under any illusions that we're going to spend millions and millions of pounds because we won't. We'll have to it's spend cash. some money, but then Mine we can. But then, it, yeah. but then we can get onto the Leaf Davis. You know, would he even if we went to the Premier League, Matt? He could be sold because well, his stock, will, his stock will be massively high then. You know, so you don't know. But I just think we're, we're getting a little bit too too far ahead of ourselves here. We should just. Look at us. By on. the way, on <laughs> FFP, I, I'm still I'm still in the I'm um, waiting to see what happens camp with with FFP because you've had Everton 10 points and then it's been re reversed to 5. Yeah, but they're probably going to get another they're probably going to get another pen probably. penalty. Probably. City has still got a, about a million and one um you know outstanding charges yeah. or, or or whatever. I'm 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 in the let's see what happens with FFP because it might just I don't know quietly go away might get adjusted I don't know. I, but I then really you look don't. at I think it was I see the figures out for Wolves Matt last week and they're losing 184,000 a day <laughs> it's mental, Ooh, it's a day is it? Aston Villa losses of about 120 million I know look they're probably going to make up some of that fall obviously because they're going to probably get in the Champions League but Ashton look I know Bristol City fans are not a fan of him but he he when they leave the club like he said I think when he took over Matt and Game Changer and Mike O'Leary they will leave the club in much better state oh, than it yeah, was yeah, 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 when they came in. So I think if we if we do go up, yeah, look, we'll make some signings, but it won't be cash just thrown at it like Gov wants. <laughs> yeah, grab Not the monopoly old, uh, money. Yeah, uh, grab grab the old trucks that, that, that deliver <laughs> the cash, back it up to Portman Road, and just start wheelbarrowing it out. That's what I've been. What I'm all about like that. Um, that I, want down that yeah, drive. But... I want you down that drive. Seeing, um, that was when we were in the Premier League when we signed Herman, wasn't it? When you were down there, yep, yeah, Herman, yeah. yep, like yeah. That MS... oh, show me the money, baby. Show me that the MS... money. That's what we like. Yeah, the uh, MSC advert, Martin, you like when they'd like they're making things happen logistics. <laughs> he, he reverses the lorry in, and out comes all the cash 50 pound notes to just fly. Yep, out. absolutely. <laughs> just print the cash and let's spend it. But we've got to get there first. And results yeah. like, like, like last night will, you know, go a huge way uh, in, in doing so. Before we go into Cardiff and into our, you know, possible changes, of which I think there will probably be a few. I thought we did look leggy at points last night. Key for more. Phenomenal since he's returned. That smart recruitment that you were both talking about in sense of if you were promoted or whether you weren't promoted. Next year will be about a smart recruitment. Well, that was a bit a smart bit of business, boys. Um, but how did you see his performance last night, Rich? Um... Didn't really get in the game, did he? It, uh, there was a few times first half where it, it went up to him and it didn't really stick. Um, I was a bit surprised when he took him off, though. I know he just had a he had a whack on the ankle, any I think. Um, but I still thought, right, you're losing one 0 at home, and yeah, he's not really been in the game. But you just have to look at the size of him, and we've said this before, haven't we? You know, you stick them balls in the box, he gets in the end of it, and I thought. But then when you you look back. 
after the game and you think it was probably a good move, Gov. Maybe we needed something different up there. You know, Ali's got not got the physical attributes that he has, but he's got difference. He's got the pace. He can run at them. He's just so enthusiastic, isn't he, Ali? I just, I just absolutely love him. I've, I just, and my heart went out to him when he missed that penalty because I thought, I don't want to be walking away here from Portman Road tonight and town of like we've drawn two all who might have could have gone on and lost the game, and that's one of the memories that you're taking away and people are thinking, oh, we missed the penalty. I'm glad that Davis has scored that goal. I said last night, I still, it didn't sit that well with me that he took it. Fair play to him for standing up, you know, because mm-hmm. I think he's a really confident lad. And I know people say he scored the penalty at Millwall. Yeah, fair enough. But we have 3-0 up there and we're in injury time. There's no pressure on that. You were at a packed Portman Road in front of the North Stand, in front of the Sky TV cameras. But then <laughs> another part of me thinks, I did say Connor Chaplin should take it, but Chaplin's not a very good penalty taker, is he? He's not. We haven't really got a penalty taker at the minute. George Urs took one in the season. Just smash it, son. Yeah, but, he's a, he's a, but he's another one off the bench. You know, you, you... I don't know. If we get another penalty, who will be taking that? Will Ali step up again? Cameron Burgess, just smash it, son. Put your foot through <laughs> it and take the net off. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I'd rather been... miss with it going 50 years over the bar, right? Mm. Then the keeper just jumps on it. Like be like yesterday's penalty, where it was a bit tame. It didn't, it was just like Mark Venus it. Just really take the goalie, yeah. the ball, the net, the, the south stand, the north. He did stand. have a lot of time as well, didn't he? Like he did have a lot of time as well, Matt, didn't he? To think about it, because you you thought Chapman was gonna take it because he had the power. I did the ball. think he was gonna but take it. But I think it. a lot of them times now you'll see someone they're like protect or they're protecting the penalty spot because you know what the players are like, they're trying yeah, try and rough it up. So it was going off a little bit. So between the penalty being awarded, which I know a lot, of, there's some people saying they didn't think it was a penalty. Now that was a bring, that was right? I've watched it back, and he does get a touch on the ball. He probably touches the ball after he's fouled Wes Burns. Yeah. You know, he's not in he's control of that tackle. Ball. He's not in control of that tackle at any point, no. is he, Gov? No, no, no. no. You know, it's so all day long. Um, yeah, look. We, we've not... Well, Broadhead took the penalties, didn't he? Then he missed one at Barnsley. Um, look, he it did, might be... The next game, yeah. yeah. It could mm. be crucial. We could have a crucial penalty somewhere along the line in these remaining 10 games. You could have one at Carrow Road, you know? So Give it back, Give it back to Ali. Do you know what I mean? He's got... He, 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 he's, he's, but he's fair got play for him for standing up. It, stand, right? yeah. Fair yeah. play for him for standing up. And, be a good one. He, well, yeah, you think he's got a great left foot. I don't trust left footers with penalties. I just... I just don't something I just don't like. Chris Waddle, Stuart Pierce. Yeah. Chris Waddle, yeah. Italian I see. That ball's still sailing around. I see Julian Dix's right? name in there in the in the chat. Yes, he was a great penalty taker. Oh, look, best penalty taker for me. There's two, Matt. You probably know who I'm gonna say. Ray Stewart for Very good, the West Ham. older generation at West Ham and Matt Letizio. Walkie. Yeah, walkie. walkie. Yeah, Walkie missed a few though, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think Letizia ever did it. Letizia ever missed one. Missed one. I think he's 47 out of 48. Yeah, he scored. Good. Yeah, good. Well, Tommy if, Miller. If you... Tommy Miller was good for yeah. us. Yeah, it's a shame you Does can't anybody have know? Does anyone know in the chat who the one goalkeeper was to save a Matt Letizia penalty? Mark Bosnich. No. No, no idea. No, no idea. No Mark idea. Mark Crossley. Oh, it was close really? with the mark. The Forest. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, and I was expecting you to say it's a shame you can't bring someone off from the bench just to take the pens. Special teams. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> and, I, yeah. and I was then wondering how old a, a person would go on for in that role. Because, like, yeah. you know, someone like John, John Walk, for example. John Walk, what are you reading about Sorrell? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, they can't take walk the penalty, you. John. Take the penalty. No, <laughs> but how, what, you know, what point would, would, would somebody say I'm too old to walk? The golf cart. Comes on the stretcher yeah. cart. Though. Darren Curry for a free kick, for example. Like, at what point would you yeah. say? I'd just be intrigued to the, for those intriguing things yeah. of how old would somebody have to, you know, before it's they great, retired from that position? It's a great question, isn't it? Because we don't want to see all this work, you know, all you know, forty games plus, wherever it's going to be, boiled down to a penalty at the end of the season. Maybe it could do. I would imagine Al Hamidi would take it again and probably score. It was. I wasn't expecting that penalty from him. If you see what I mean. Very tame, wasn't it? It was an easy save for the keeper, really. I thought he, I thought he was just going to hammer it down the middle or whatever. Um, he went the other side, done. didn't he, against Millwall? Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, well. he did. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the goalie dives the other way, that penalty is great because obviously it goes in and it <laughs> exactly, doesn't look yeah, as bad. Yeah. But when the goalie goes the same way, it's not even in the. Should have done a Penenka. No, style, Penenka. No, don't. No, I hate. I hate those style penalties. Yeah, like, me too, I, yeah. I'd rather you smashed it and saved, and they it got saved or went yeah. like blazing over than, than anything agreed, else. Yeah, agreed. Got some questions yeah. before the Cardiff uh, preview. I wasn't going to say John Walk, but. It, why not? Um, bold and blue. Realistically, how many points did we need from the remaining thirty to finish inside the top two? Well, it's going to be. Well, I, th- I, well, mid nineties, ninety. I, I thought probably about ninety four. Did, did, did Rich Chandler say ninety six last night? Yeah, he, he did. did. Yeah. See, I don't yeah. think that'd be enough when you think there's yeah. ten games to go and we're on seventy eight already. That's only going to be another eighteen points from the remaining ten games. That's under two points. I said on Sunday, didn't I? Before. Yeah. Plymouth on Saturday, I said we needed to win nine out of twelve. So now we've got that, oh yeah. yeah, so now we've got two more games down the line. So we've got seventy eight. I think we need to win at least seven. That'll take us to ninety nine. Are you expecting any defeats in this run of ten games? Surely we well, can't. Yeah, look. yeah, but you look at that, you look at that and you've only lost four games and you've only lost yeah. to three teams. So Leeds have done the double over us. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Preston yeah. beat us and West Brom. So it's a mad stat. That but there's the red flag for me. The red flag for me is that team sitting in seventh when we go to Norwich. No, what are you worried about going there for? Because we haven't beaten them for so long. It's apparently that's going to be on the Saturday, by the way, lads, on um 12 30 on, on the Saturday the 6th. Okay. Yeah, if, day, if football yeah. is a cinematic experience these days, Rich, that is a, a hell of an ending to a story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like we, you know, you, you, you found the first test. Who knows how the second test will go, but then the big test in the playoffs, like the, the arc coming full circle, and then we deliver the biggest shellacking, well, as Matt would well, call it. Well, for me, mean, for me, yeah. that's the only thing that McKenna leaves left to tick yeah. off that list to beat them lot up the road because we've not done it for so long. But look, we've, how many points do we need? I mean, you look at that there, you know, that Southampton's game was obviously cancelled today. So they've got two, they'll have two games in hand because the Leicester game is cancelled. Made that fire yeah. at Southampton, didn't it? I feel sorry for the Preston fans. I mean, that is a bit of a trek yeah. down to Southampton. Yeah. And then you yeah, yeah. you hear about five o'clock that it's been cancelled. Look, nobody knows, Gov, how many points it'll be. But we've just got to go on. It's like last night. I looked at Leicester's fixture. I looked at Leeds' fixture. And I thought, well, they're going to win. So we just need to win. You look at Saturday. Uh, I look at Friday night. Leeds go to Hillsborough, which is a tough game. But I'll Massive expect game. them to win. Massive Leicester game, yeah. are away at Hull. Tough game. But then Ipswich at Cardiff. <laughs> Not going to be easy, is it? Tough game. How are they doing at the moment, Cardiff? Playing Huddersfield tonight? They, they? were winning 1-0 at half-time. Okay. So I, I would say the high 90s we, we would need to finish on. The high 90s, if, if you know, personally. If you're, going 10, if you're going two points per game, then you're going to finish on 98, aren't you? Mm. That, so I mean, at the moment that'd be enough. That would be that'd be enough for you to get be promoted, given that we've got a two point advantage over Leeds. But who really knows? I mean, look, we just don't know what the next. That's why last night. Was, that's why last night was key, wasn't it, Gov? Because you can't yeah. have any cheap defeats like that. You you can't. You know, Preston. Yeah. Preston was the one away from home where we we all thought we'd probably go there. And we even when when we had the guy from um, what was it, the Butter Pie podcast? He the he basically pie. said we're crap. <laughs> You'll beat <laughs> yeah. us. And they weren't crap. And this is why when we go to Cardiff on Saturday lunchtime, we've just got to be at it, Gov. We've got to be at it. And I'm I'm, I'm, I'm 100% that we will be. But we can't have no cheap cheap defeats now because it's going to hurt us. Yeah, and I didn't have Bristol City being the trap game on my list. Like I I didn't look at it yesterday and think heading in. Who is your trap game? Is Is it Sheffield Wednesday coming up? Oh, cool. Well, no, it's not a trap game. This is a family party game. And, um... I expect to lose every game against a family member's team. Every game, like that, their, their team could be Forest Green Rovers. If I, if 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 my sister married a you know Forest Green Rovers fan, I, I expect I expect to lose that game from now until the end of time. That's just how my how my mind works. Martin. Very pessimistic these views. Only when it comes to playing, to, like, as you say that, I've, I thought we'd give West Brom a, a, a paste in, and then that, that evening on the TV, we we the ones who got the paste in. So um, yeah, yeah, I try not to be yeah. too positive too early. No, Rich was saying that like the Norwich win is the only thing that's missing from like McKenna's CV. I was just thinking of your favourite commentator, Peter Drury. What would he say? It's the icing on the richest of cakes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, last night's commentator's been no, Matt. I don't know if he'd scripted it, but what he said about you know 
Town's promotion dream not withering away or not dying away, whatever he withering was. Withering away. Be more natural. Yeah, but that's beautifully put and, and yeah. it will stick. Off the cuff. Yeah, off the cuff, most likely. He's not sat mm. at home in front of the mirror and rehearsed this line. Well, if, that, well, if Town's scoring in the last five minutes, <laughs> yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah. my moment to make yeah, yeah. cinematic experience. Yeah. It's come true. Uh, mm-hmm. Sean says, Are Sal out of the equation now with tonight's match and the Leicester match to be rescheduled? Obviously, it's due to the FA. Well, they've got some tough games coming up, and like we always say, then we you'd rather have points on the board than the games in hand. So they're not out of it, they're not out of it, but it's, it's hard work for them because like five, five, five games ago, we all we were all probably predicting Southampton probably would be in the top two. So, yeah, we did. Well, it, it was that run that kind of poured water in our fire a little bit did wasn't it because we won't pick we we couldn't turn one point to three and they were just on that huge tear but look things the tables have turned again mike d says what's the classic trip gov trap game i tell you what it better not be i'm I'm, I'm in corporate that day it better not be a trap game oh hang on oh hello well you're back in sir elf back in the sir that's a tuesday night night game isn't it yeah what are you doing there on a tuesday night by the way half term (laughs) <laughs> yeah, free dinner. That's oh what that, means. <laughs> <laughs> that means the childcare has arrived and I can I get to go out oh, of an evening. Like I get to be an had, adult. I know. Well, what did you have when he was last in it? It was the whole game, wasn't it? You did? You've done two, didn't you? Yeah. Two. Highland what did you have? What'd you eat? I'm under I'm undefeated, by the way, in the in, in the court. Oh, this week. oh whoa, 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 whoa. Don't say that, please. Undefeated in hospitality. Well, that'll I'm be another, saying, that'll be another nail biter under the lights. It's bound yeah. to be. Yeah. What Watford? Agreed. They're in disarray at the moment. You don't even know the manager will be. They don't even know the manager will be at, at, the, <laughs> yeah. at that point. So <laughs> who knows what that will be, trap game or otherwise. Um, all right, we're going to switch it over to the, to the Cardiff tr- trip. We're obviously heading to Cardiff. So oh, before we do, um, Stomach Osteopaths. We are partnered with Stomach Osteopaths. So don't live life in pain. Give Freddie a call. 01449 613633. Tell him the Gov has sent you. Um, physiotherapy, osteopath, all of those uh, services. Uh, I use them regularly. Can't speak highly enough, glowingly enough. And I know, actually, that they're, they're a very popular service. So do give them a call. 01449 613633. That's Freddie at Stomach Osteopaths. Now we switch the overlays from the home to the away orange because we make the trip. Live on Sky, because why wouldn't we be? We are every week, it seems. We're a hot ticket. 12.30 kickoff, giving you plenty of time to see your nearest and dearest for Mother's Day weekend. Um, Unless you travel down, obviously, like probably, I know you're not, you're not going, are you, Rich? No, I've got to work and then I've got a game to ref at midday. I won't be watching the game live. We'll not be watching the game live. Can you believe it? Is that, is that, is that confidence or is that bit petrified fan well, holidays, so I, need be, I need spending money for, for me holidays <laughs> so, <laughs> paying those repo, paying those trainers off so i was right i knew i was right they come out with me sambas today me sambas come I, I came back from refing today i refereed that game today ipswich town foundation at st ives school have a guess what the score was so they, they they're, they're um they come out, out of clacton i think is where they play their home games you said eight won the foundation mm. Man. Six new foundation. St. Ives 15, Ipswich Town Foundation nil. There oh, you God. go. God. So what, am I in speechless? 15 nil. 15 nil. They were terrible. Have they, have they technically freed the Ipswich, Ipswich nine? <laughs> <laughs> they were terrible. We they were that? terrible. They were terrible. Um, really? And I was actually I was actually welcome back. I haven't riffed there for a few weeks. And I've re- obviously ref there for about the last four or five years. And I, when I ref, they moan at me. But then when <laughs> yeah, I came sure back they today, do. they were they welcomed me back with open arms because the ref yeah. they had last week was absolutely terrible. Because I think he, I, I'm not sure if he sent this lad off, but this lad uh, said to the opposition manager that his breath stunk. And I said, <laughs> what were you saying that for? You can't say that. I mean, what are you th- Unbelievable. They're 17, 18. You know what these lads are like. They're, yeah. they're a good bunch of lads. But yeah, but 15 nil. 15 nil. You can you can referee Saturday and then just watch the game on delay. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it when I get back home. Don't worry. Oh, I, will know, I will know what the result is. Don't worry. I, I, it's not as though I, I don't want to know the result. I, I, okay. I'm quite happy to know the result, knowing that town have gone to Cardiff and got a... Over 3,000? Yeah, that. sold out. Sold out again. Yeah. I mean, 12.30 kickoff. On Sky, there you go, Colin. Three thirty, yeah, yeah. Gus, coaches go at five. Day. 
don't know why Colin's leaving at three thirty when the coaches leave at five. I mean, does it take that long to get to Ipswich? I'll have an extra no, four, oh. 45 minutes in bed. Colin likes, early. Colin likes to be early. Colin likes to be early. Have a snooze on well, the coast. Three thirty yeah. in the morning. There's too many traffic around, is there? That's what time you get up now, isn't it, mine? Four. Ten to four. What? Ten Why are you getting up so four. early? I don't get it. Early bird, early bird catches the worm, my friend. What time do you get up, Matt? Oh, it varies. Mm, anything between six and eight. Matt's varies. never on the WhatsApp group and never early mornings. I don't like mornings. Never, never before ten without. o'clock, is it? He's never on there. I could do without him, to be honest. Mornings. Wake me up about midday. Lunchtime onwards. If anybody wants some um, some boxing content, I think they should pop over to Instagram. Where was that? Where was that on Matt when you were in on Chelmsford, the, old, the pads? Was talking pads? Yeah, for the heavyweights. I can tell you, you've got, they you've got to keep your chin tucked right. in on that. You've got to keep your chin tucked in, otherwise you might, you'd be in trouble. You might take one. Yeah, yeah. I haven't yet, but it's come close. <laughs> so the account. Where is the account that? It, it, Unique results, is that right? Unique results, yeah. Chelmsford. Unique results. Yeah. Go and check that out. When yeah. Rich sent it to me, it took me about five minutes to work out who I was trying to look out for. He was that that fleeting in the video. What was there? <laughs> is there was is there to... any footage of you on the? Bit of... They didn't film me. They oh. didn't film it. It was my That's idea to do the filming. It was my <sighs> idea to do showcase it, Rich. <laughs> yeah, I said film it so they would actually just film me showing you what <laughs> you know the Sugar Ray Leonard, and then. um yeah, I, 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 they just did the footage while I was holding the pads, but you know. Oh, well. I like holding Maybe pads. next time, mate. Maybe yeah, next time. Next right. Time. Cardiff, any changes for you, Matthew Phillips? Um, Have we come out? Did they come out of anything at the end of the game last night to say there was any injuries? Was was more taken off with because he got the knock? Or was he just. Nah, I, 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 I think he was there? okay, weren't he? I think that he was just making them change. So the big question now is then do you start Wes? After the phenomenal display of half an hour last night, or do you keep Mari over there? Difficult one, isn't it? You start with. You're going to start. You'd start him, would you? That's against his game. Mean a lot to him. Cardiff City fan. His family. Cardiff, his family. His brother supports Cardiff, so I'm sure Wes will be chomping at the bit wanting to play. Mm. Well, Rich is already moving Mari over to the left anyway, as we discussed earlier. Don't know. Difficult one. I mean, look. I I try. I try. Well. The, 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 the subs had such an impact. Do you just think to yourself, let's start with Wes Burns. Let's go with Sami and so. But were they so good because they had the impact off the bench, was you what I mean? This is the beauty of the five subs that you're allowed now, isn't it? You, you, I mean, as oh. th- that Jacob Edison said to McKenna last night, you made four subs at once. You've basically changed half the side almost. Um, yeah. Uh, the thing is, Marcus Harness, you know, he's... Getting a lot of criticism in the chat, and uh, and some of it is justified. He's not much game to him either, is he? To be fair to him, but he's he is somebody who is very solid defensively, and I and I don't know who Cardiff have got down their right side, so I don't know if if that's a real threat that's of theirs. Tonight, yeah. Perry and G playing at G, they play yeah. uh, four two three one, so they've got Josh Josh Bowler playing down the right. And you know who they've got up front, Matt. Go on, Famari Jeju. Do you remember him from Bristol City? Yes, I do. Tomorrow, I think he's a Mark Ashton. Yeah. Mark Ashton yeah, signing, yeah, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. But Let's I think that's team. what Marcus brings that none of the others bring it, which is a real solid defensive defensive side to the game. Uh, which I think was why Kieran particularly likes Marcus Harness in the, in the sense of, you know, he can offer something going forward, not as much as as the others, but defensively he's solid. Defensively, you know what you're going to get from him, and he can really put that shift in. Whether you need him away at Cardiff in that in that role. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like I say, I wouldn't know who. Again, he's someone it. who's had a great impact from the bench. Just, you know, Birmingham away being being one of them. But yeah, Rich is right though. People get too fickle on just one display, be it an hour or whatever. Harness has done really well this season. We thought he probably wouldn't be able to step up to the championship. League One might be his ceiling, but he's been he's been really good. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but Axel at right back because it feels like Clark's going to play down. That would be a change, I think. I mean, Axel's done. Look. Again, the fickleness plays against Rotherham. All goes a bit tits up. They get Rotherham have got not like nineteen points. points. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Well, he was Bambi on ice, wasn't he? Everyone was a bit critical, and he comes in man and match display. Then another really good performance at Plymouth uh, last night. Probably maybe was a step too far, like you said, Rich. Maybe he needs to be managed a little bit more. Yeah, I was surprised he played last night. You know, because yeah. he's obviously oh, carrying. Well, yeah. He's obviously got that back that back problem. Yeah. Um, but he's not a natural there, is he? He probably gives you a little bit more defensively. 
Yeah, um, he's, a unit, he's a unit in that position. But he's, give you the he's, he's, feel, he's done really, really well. He's done really well in the yeah, last yeah. three games. And he's yeah. he's taken that problem away because we spoke about it before. You know, if Harry Clark got injured, you know, Brandon Williams obviously so not Brandon, back. Yeah. Um, but I, I think Harry Clark, look, he's he's obviously got that Achilles injury, you know, that he's got to manage. He's he's had, what, three games off and he's, look, he's come on the last couple of, off the bench. Um, so, look, I think Clark... I'll go with Clark on, on Saturday. I think yeah, he, he, he'll probably have a start. Um, the rest of the defence stays the same. Midfield? Midfield, too. Probably stays the same as well, I'd have thought. You know, mm-hmm. Mass mm-hmm. and, and uh, Morsi in there, I'd, mm-hmm. I'd have thought. I don't think there's going to be any changes there, is there? No. Seems about right. Taylor or Travis is the only two options you've got. I liked him. Um, did you read the Travis Taylor. interview? I think he did in East Anglian or something. Yeah. On the, on the, I thought that was really good. He said, oh, I could have gone to other clubs and started games. I wanted to come here and be a part of this. That speaks volumes for him, knowing that he'd gone from sitting on the bench at Blackburn to probably sitting on the bench at Ipswich. But it was part. Of, he said he wanted to test himself and be part of that challenge. And that again it epitomises the group was McKenna calls them. Those kind of good characters are coming in here. They're not just here for, our, you know, when we used to see it, didn't we? We just saw a lot of loan players coming in for a bit of a payday back in the Evans era. He's here to and integrated into it, even though he's not playing regular matches. I think it's great. Any chance of a fridge sighting? Do you think on no. Saturday? No. Not now. Not no. now. I think I said. I said. Burgess um, and Wolfie, innit? When Burgess come back in after the Asia Cup, I said you've you now you've probably got to pick your best two centre halves yeah, and, and yeah. stick with them. We don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. we're going to be unless there's an injury or suspension. Now, I think it's going to be um, Burgess it's and Wolf and then moving forward, isn't it? I think it should be really. Hmm. You've been yeah, amazing, think- haven't they? Yeah, that does feel like you're getting to that, that, that stage of the season, very similar to how we got to at the back end of last year, where the team starts to really pick itself. Um, yeah. You know, the, the, the lottery balls got put away. Um, what was Kiefer to score? Kiefer to score against his old club? Well, there you go, you see. Um, <laughs> yeah, why not? I, I quite He's been phenomenal since he came back. Yeah, Just brilliant. phenomenal. Um, yeah, very class player. Better technically than I thought. Had in my mind when I, when we were discussing signing Keith. Playing a level below as well, of course. Let's not forget that he's playing. You know, yeah, but you can see. But, but, but sometimes a player comes down from the Premier League, and you think to yourself, "Is he Premier League? Is like, is that? It? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, is that ability in the Premier League much better than you you thought it was? Was if if this is the player yeah. that you see, but he yeah. is showing the Premier like the goal against Plymouth. I mean, I, I could watch all day long because this is a Premier League striker's finish. Mm, doesn't snatch at it, doesn't rush it, checks his back shoulder. It, you just whoever's coached him from the days of leaving it was just town on the Mick McCarthy and beyond have, have done a phenomenally a phenomenally good job with him because he's no, nearly all, really his goals, good all his goals bar one have been away from home as well. So I mean the odds yeah. are good <laughs> to have an impact on it on the Saturday yeah. lunchtime. Absolutely. Yeah. I like I like the little things like that, you know, football like you know, the 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 chicken of the shoulder, the 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 goal cam. I don't know if you've seen it for the third goal, McKenna. I love the celebrations, but what really gets me with football is that when he's talking to his captain and he just wants him. Just now talk, you know, calm us down now. Yeah, Let, yeah, yeah. Through. That, just those little oh. nuances in, in football that you don't see when you you're there live or even watching the on the television, but you, you see you see back and you just think that's important to get them back in that moment and get them because well, you're that, on the, the roof, aren't you? Yeah, there is probably where you've seen McKenna grow as a, as a boss, I think. When you think back to that the, the game at Charlton when the bench is cleared <laughs> and we thought we'd won the game and then suddenly they come back and get the I four mean, four. if, I if you look at that game last night, and I know you said they go about when we had a corner in added time and we, we were still putting your centre-halves forward. But what was there last night, Matt? Was it eight minutes? It was eight minutes. Where the hell did you get eight minutes from? I, I don't you? even remember Bristol City, Gov, going into our box in that eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? No, it wasn't, they didn't. It's sometimes you're sitting there and you, you're nervously thinking, you're looking at your watch, aren't you? It's gone eight minutes and then there's a couple gone. But at, at no stage last night yeah. did I think that we were going to concede an equaliser there. It was it was really comfortable and really it professional was, yeah. how they see that game out. And like Matt says yeah. there, that's one thing that we've massively improved on, you know? Mm. That managing them games in them, say, yeah, them minutes and seeing games out. And I think, look, Cardiff away, it's, look, it'll be a tricky game, but I think we we should be confident as a fan base going there. You know, I know I know we've won six on the bounce and you probably won't win. We've got, what, 10 games left. We won't win every game, but that would be another game that I'll be expecting. If you, if you really want to get that top two position, I think you've got to go to Cardiff and I think you've you've got to get three points there because you'll have harder away games coming up. 
you've got to go to Hull, you've got to go to Norwich, you've got Coventry. So well, you, I think the, this is is that, is 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 that the is that the route to success, then, Rich? Win the home games and see what you can pick up away from home. Yeah, I think what we got five five at home, five away. Five at home, haven't we? Yeah. So, so it takes, the all majority of them home the games, like I said, I said on Sunday, I think you've got look Southampton's probably the one fixture that stands out that you think that could be a tricky game because they've got some really good players. But what what other games you got? Middlesbrough, Watford, Sheffield Wednesday, Huddersfield. You, know, you should yeah, really be beating all three, three of them, them for all four of them, all four. and that gives you another at least another twelve points. That takes you on to ninety before you even looked at the Southampton yeah. game. Not saying that Sheffield Wednesday Saturday week won't be hard because. You've just got to look at the form that they're on. Yeah, and we were talking about young managers. You were talking about Liam Manning there and replacements for McKenna. Yep. I mean, Danny Roll, Danny first Roll, yeah. job since he's come in, Matt. He's doing an incredible go. job there. Mm, really? So let's just get uh, Saturday out of the way first, get three points there, and then we can look forward to, to Sheffield Wednesday. But... It could be huge, though, couldn't it, Saturday? Because obviously Leeds played the Friday night against yeah. uh, a, 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 a rejuvenated it? Wednesday. Yep. Um, and there's no free hits anymore at this stage of the season. You don't get a, oh, Leeds lost last night, so we can afford to. <laughs> you get a, what? What's Middlesbrough three. Happy Norwich days. one. Norwich days. also down to 10 men as 10 well. 10 men, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Saints has been sent off. You're 1-0 up, Canaries. There you go. <laughs> You're throwing <laughs> it away. That's, that was another thing that Fraser Clark was saying last night. Oh, you could hear him mouthing going, let's be having you. <laughs> <laughs> right, score predictions then for let's get let's have, let's have two score predictions. Wednesday leads Cardiff Town. Wednesday leads Matthew Phillips. Wednesday leads. What's the what, what's the run that Wednesday are on? Four on the trot, isn't it? Yeah, they've got four on the trot. Oh, it's yeah. five. Is it four? Yeah, four. Fair play. It's either good either way, but yeah. I, I think it'll be one one at Hillsborough. That oh. oh, can you imagine? That's what I'm gonna go oh. for. I'll Hitch go for Leeds. Martin. I'm going Leeds 2 0 victory. Going to break the run. Yeah, I think mm. the pitch is not great there, neither. First goal, I think, in that game could be massive. And I look, yeah. Hillsborough, what? You've got Yorkshire Derby. They've probably You're got 35,000. Yeah, it's um, proper old school Yorkshire Derby. That so one. it depends yeah. who gets that that first goal there. Let you see yeah. Huddersfield. I think the way to play Leeds is Huddersfield sort of, they look to rough them up a little bit and yeah. they've got set pieces and that, get mm. in their faces. But as they say, Gov, the pitch could be a great leveller. <laughs> it really could. Yeah. It really could. Yeah. yeah, it really could. Cardiff one one two uh, says Frank uh, and Brung says two two. One one says Colin for Wednesday Leeds. I take that. Mm. Anything but a Leeds when I take because then yeah, town yeah, go and win. Yeah. When town go and win Saturday. Imagine that. What, do you, think the, what do you think the Wednesday Leeds score will be? Ooh, do you know what? I think Wednesday going to win, which probably means Whoa. Leeds going to win by about three or four. Wow. Field, but, um, <laughs> I said in the playoffs when it was, you know, when or, or, or at the start of the season when they had that that, that huge playoff turnaround. That, yeah, Hillsborough is a special place, and Wednesday do special things at Hillsborough when the atmosphere is right and the, and everything is going. And at the moment, it's all going that way. It's all the momentum's building, the train's starting to leave uh, the station in the, in the sense of runaway down the hill. Uh, Hillsborough, when it rocks, it rocks. You know, it truly is a special place. Um, uh, I think Friday night under the lights, four on the four wins on the bounce. Not just got a puncher's chance anymore in, in survival. Sure they are chance. probably the driver's seat mm. for survival in terms yeah, of women. But then again, I think sometimes there's a little bit more pressure when there's more expectation on Wednesday now, aren't there? Because they were well all but cut adrift, Matt. You think that they were probably yeah. going to go down, you know, the start that they had. So there's probably a bit of added pressure now because there's a little bit more expectation on them. Plus, we don't want we don't want them coming in with momentum to Portman Road in a week. Or they something. will do. I think they will do, and, and you have to contend with that yourself. And that's a, and they're away. It's a different. It's a, it's a different yeah. animal. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, a Wednesday team away than, than home. But uh, I think Leeds traditionally. What is the song? Leeds are falling apart again. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to, you know, go about big pressure moments, there is a song about Leeds for a very good reason. Uh, they 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 have pressure moments that they don't. That, always that would be great. That would be great because that would give us if if we could. Look, if it was one all like Colin says there, and then we could get a victory at Cardiff, that give us a little bit of breathing space there, because you'd obviously yeah. have that you'd have that four point gap, mm. wouldn't you? Mm. You would, yes. Yeah. But as long as we do our job, it don't really matter. That's what the, the, that's the thing. Do. Yeah, you don't get free hits as I was saying a second ago. At, at this stage, you get a Lisa slipped up great, and then it's pounce and, and extend yeah. it, and so you chances. don't get a free hit. Um, regardless, you have to do your job. And what do you think Town will will, will do then, uh, Rich? Uh, I think we'll win. I think we'll win. Um, 
I think it's look, we, we're good away. What 10 wins away already? We're looking for 11. Um, Cardiff, I think they go, they'll be 10th tonight if they win. They're probably what six, seven points from the playoffs. So they're probably there's not many teams, Matt, who've not really got a lot to play for. You know, there's mm. either mm. you're going for the playoffs or you, you're looking over your shoulder down towards the bottom three. But I think Town will win. I will go Cardiff nil, Ipswich Town three. Cardiff currently winning 1 0 at home to Huddersfield. Matt, your town I'm, I'm not sure it's going to be as straightforward as that, although I, I got all fingers crossed they will be. Is it to go to, to win seven on the trot in the championship? They were saying last night, Rich, the, the six we've done now equals the John Lyle, what John Lyle done in 92. We, we obviously went up as champions, your favourite ever season. Uh, My favourite ever season could be replaced very, very yeah, It could soon. be this one, right? I, yeah, hope yeah. It, I hope it does yeah. for everybody. I hope you've got enough in the tank to be able to pull off another victory. It's questionable last night, wasn't it, in that first half? Like we said, mine on the show last night, were the legs starting to show a little bit? Who could blame them with the with the run that we've been on? I think, see, because like expectations are high now, aren't they? You keep stacking up three points each time. People are going to expect the win. I still think probably a draw there would be good, but sorry, I'm going to go 2 1 town. Come on. Seven Beautiful. on the chart. Wins, wins are what we need. Wins will take us where we want to go. Magic, draws, yeah. draws, like I said before, in normal circumstances, Matt, a draw at Cardiff be, wouldn't be a bad result, yeah. but it's wins that will get us. Stakes are high. And, and like you're saying, yeah. when people say about how many points do we need, yeah, that should be one of the games I think you're targeting for, for yeah. three. And I mean, and then yeah. 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 we just get these next two games are massive. I think if you could get out of these two games with another six points, then you've got two mm-hmm. weeks off to recharge. Before you go into that final yeah, eight perfect. games, I mean, perfect. It's unreal. It's unreal where we <laughs> and if are. You go into those, yeah, if you go into those eight games with the theoretically two games in hand on Leeds, um, in the sense of you know Leeds have got to get two decent results to your zero, yeah, yeah, in out of mm. those eight, then that that would be huge. That would be huge because they're they're playing catch up and the pressure's then ramped up on them even more so. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. The way the Sky have scheduled the fixtures, it's going to make it interesting as well. It always does. Um, but carry on the conversation on our Discord server. These two boys are certainly in it and lots of other people. Crystal Ball Chandler's there. He'll tell you how the fixtures are going to go. So if, you, if, you, if you're worried yeah. at all, just head over there. Ask yeah. him. He'll tell you. Because he knows. He knows. Um, but you only get to do so by being a Patreon. Um, wait, Patreon. Man, a Ko-Fi member. Um, 4 99 Cancel at any point or hit and join button on our YouTube. If you are a YouTube member, Head to your community tab and your link shall be there. If not, email martin at talkingtown.co.uk. Uh, link to sign up is in our chat. You can cancel at any point. Head over there now. But, in, but we're done for this evening right here. We're back for the match reaction post-game Saturday, uh, 12.30 kickoff, live on Sky. So join us after the game for all the thrills and spills. Of course, our social media, three reviews, gift reactions. Love reading those. Lots of resilience was used last night in the three words. Um, <laughs> but for now, that is the cruncher. He won't be there. We're even watching it part time. Uh, that is <laughs> Matthew. I mean, go know. and watch the boxing show. Come on, go and watch the boxing show. You've got like five show. away points as well, knowing you, your paper ticket. Um, and that is Matthew, <laughs> Matthew <laughs> Phillips. <laughs> I know. You know you're Johnny come lately, ain't you? Look, now you thought, oh, I'm not going to watch them on Saturday. I can't be, can't be doing with that. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on Saturday. You may miss my way to think of you. If I yell down low and I yell blue. Crazy from just the thought of you. A long time.